In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a very basic and simplistic TV stand. This has tight corners and hidden brackets, which looks pretty awesome, I think. The first thing you'll do with any project is you'll want to make a sheet where you draw out what your project is, the dimensions of it, the cuts you'll need to make, and so forth. The next thing you'll need are your tools and materials. If you're looking to see what tools and materials I used for this project, check the description. I'll have lists for both of those there. The first thing I'm doing now is I'm clamping this wood down to a surface where I can cut it. I'm measuring my 34 inch cut, and this will be the one leg. Then I'm actually going to use my circular saw freehand here at a 45 degree angle to make this cut. I did this freehand, but in a moment you'll see how I did the top portion of the TV stand with a track to make a cleaner straight line. If you enjoy this video or find any of it helpful, please like the video, it helps me out a bunch. And if you're looking to see other videos on construction or fun projects outdoors, definitely subscribe. I'll be posting all sorts of things now with projects I do. After I made this cut, I'm ready to cut the next leg here. All I do is I flip the board around. I'm going to measure 34 again, and I'm going to make my miter cut. I'm using the same process here of the freehand saw, but you will see in a moment on the top how I do use a track. I measure this, and here's this cut. I just wanted to show this. This was my scrap, but look at how it split. I just thought that was very cool and unique. Just wanted to show that. Now what I've done here for a cleaner cut is I've used my level. I've measured out three inches over from where I need to make my cut. That's how my saw works. Every saw will be different, but then the track is three inches off of the line I need to cut. Here I'm just doing a miter on the one edge of the board. That's the factory side cut there. And now I'm going to turn this board around, measure out, I believe, 56 here for the top, and then make that cut as well. And I'll have a, a lighter line there for the three inches offset from the actual dimension of this to set my level up here for my track. At the end of the day, I always like to double measure and double check things before I make the cut. If you make a cut that's too short, you can always decrease the size of this TV stand. And then as you can see here, it's pretty good, but at the end there, I kind of lost it a bit. I'm going to just sand that down. Now it's time for me to measure out where these brackets go. That way I could recess them down into the wood. That way you don't see them if you're looking at this straight on. As you can see, I'm just measuring out where these brackets go. If you really want to be accurate, I find using the bracket or the actual piece that you're going to be putting into the wood is better to use that and then draw it out versus measuring the piece and then measuring out those dimensions on the wood. Use the actual piece, it's easier, faster, and you'll get a cleaner, more accurate cut. That's what I'm doing here. I did my line off the edge where I wanna be at, and now I'm using the bracket itself to make my next line. Then I'm going to use a router. This is a router I got for Christmas. It's brand new. It's really good. It, this is my first time using it actually, and I think things came out well that you'll see in a moment. It's not 100% perfect, but the table, the TV stand comes out really nice at the end. The only thing I would have done differently here is if I set up my router table or even my table saw, I could have done this project maybe a little smoother, maybe a little more accurately, but for the case of this project, I'm pretty pleased with the results. And as you'll see here, now I just use my router. Right before I went to use my router, I actually dropped the tip down the depth of these brackets. That way when this bracket sits in, it's down into the wood and it's not too far down and not up a little bit. When I made these cuts, as you can see, things look pretty good here. Obviously it could be better. You see those curves, but the bracket fits in there. It's in the wood, it's snug. And when I hook this all together, I can screw it into the location I want. And it allows for a little bit of play, which is better to keep those tight miter cuts and tight edges and joints together when this is all hooked together. That's a quick way to use your speed square to make straight lines. Now I'm doing this process on the other side of the top of the TV stand, as well as both of the legs. I don't show my assembly here. However, you just assemble it with the screws. And as you can see, I get nice tight joints here, which is amazing. Overall, this TV stand works out well. You could stain it, paint it, whatever you want, but it's a simplistic TV stand. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video. That's super helpful and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you.